Today's Mass is offered for souls in purgatory. We offer for the souls of Andrew Aotik Lung and Leonie Xiao, for Mario John Lee and Maria Asunta Rodriguez Lee, for Joseph Hong Tian Yin, for George W. Munang, for Marilu Manapat. We offer in special intentions for family of Manapat and Muldong to stay safe and healthy for everyone by Calvin Manapat, for Fong, Fong Wai Kwan, who seek God's blessings and wisdom for continuous smooth workflow, for James Wong Jun Ken to seek God's blessings and to be free from tribulation. Special attention for for Little Dress 2 will be a success and birthday blessings for N. Lim Nyo Yin by Agnes Ao Yong. Special healing prayers for Goddaughter Samantha Lo Hui Chen by Cora. Birthday blessings and good health for Nachat, Nachatira Mary. Offering special attention and thanksgiving for Bagi Bakasma. Baga Masbat and family, prayers for families in Melbourne, Australia and Philippines. Offering thanksgiving to Divine Mercy and Mother Mary for blessings bestowed by Petrina. Offering thanksgiving and birthday blessings for Calvin Manapat. Offering thanksgiving to for Benigno Mudong for the successful operation by Calvin Manapat. Offering thanksgiving for Alpha Online Holy Spirit Weekend from Johnny Tachin. Offering thanksgiving for Tan Soon Ket and family. We shall continue to lift up all those who are suffering during this pandemic. We shall pray for the control of the spike of cases. We shall pray for those who are finding difficulty in getting a job, sustaining a job, those who are facing domestic problems, those on the street without food and many other problems and issues that people face. We continue to lift them up and pray for God's grace and blessings to reach them through our generosity. We so pray for our own personal intentions. In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, Jesus invites us to put our trust in him, to have faith in him, and that with that he can work many glorious things through our lives. And likewise, we are reminded today as a church commemorates St. Dominic, one who had his own passion to go and preach and do missionary work in Russia, but the Pope sends him to Toulouse that he may preach there and live there and bring about a greater goodness to the people. And that's how the Dominican order came about, the order of preachers, and he continued to live there, preaching the gospel and living in poverty, bringing about God's goodness to the people. And so for times that we have wandered in our own way rather than God's ways, for times that we have failed to put our complete trust in God. For times that we have failed to follow in God's path. For this and for the sins that we have committed, let us be truly sorry for our sins, acknowledging them, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May St. Dominic come to the help of your church by his merits and teaching, O Lord, and may he, who was on an outstanding preacher of your truth, be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A 
reading from the prophet Habakkuk. Are not you from ancient times, Lord, my God, my Holy One, who never dies? Lord, you have made this people an instrument of justice. Set it firm as a rock in order to punish. Your eyes are too pure to rest on wickedness. You cannot look at, on at itinerary. Why do you look on while men are treacherous? And stay silent while the evil man swallows a better man than he. You treat mankind like fishes in the sea, like creeping, masterless things. A people, these who catch all on their hook, who draw them with their nets, in their drag nets gather them, and so triumphantly rejoice. At this, they offer a sacrifice to their nets and burn incense to their drag nets, providing them with luxury and lavish food. Are they then to empty their nets unceasingly, slaughtering nations without pity? I will stand on my watchtower and take up my post on my battlements, watching to see what he will say to me, what answer he will make to my complaints. Then the Lord answered and said, Write the vision down, inscribe it on tablets to be easily read, since this vision is for its own time only. Eager for its own fulfillment, it does not deceive. If it comes slowly, wait, for come it will, without fail. See how he flags, he whose soul is not at rights, but the upright man will live by his faithfulness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. You will never forsake those who seek you, O Lord. You will will never never forsake forsake those who who seek seek you, O Lord. Lord. The Lord seeks enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He will judge the world with justice. He will judge the peoples with his truth. You You will will never never forsake forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Lord. For the oppressed, let the Lord be a stronghold a stronghold in terms of distress. Those who know your name will trust you. You will never forsake those who seek you. You will never never forsake forsake those who seek seek you, O Lord. Lord. Sing psalms to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Proclaim his mighty works among the peoples. For the avenger of blood has remembered them and has not forgotten to cry of the poor. You You will will never never forsake forsake those who seek seek you, O Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope His call holds for us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and And with with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory Glory to you you, lord Lord. a man came up to jesus and went down on his knees before him lord he said take pity on my son he is a lunatic and in a wretched state he is always falling into the fire or into the water i took him to your disciples and they were unable to cure him faithless and perverse generation, Jesus said in reply, How much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And when Jesus rebuked it, the devil came out of the boy who was cured from that moment. 
Then the disciples came privately to Jesus. Why were we unable to cast it out? They asked. He answered, Because you have little faith. I tell you solemnly, if your faith were the size of mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Just before this event, the apostles were with Christ at the Transfiguration. So have you ever come out of a retreat on fire to change the world? And then the unexpected cross comes your way. A negative comment, a temptation you have not had before, a tragedy in the family. You were in the clouds surrounded by God's glory. And then you came crashing down to the reality of this world. So let the moments of glory be your strength to face and persevere through all the challenges that lie ahead. We have to be strong, we have to keep moving ahead, even though we seem to have bullets flying by our heads, as do soldiers in war. We have to have faith. So the apostles go out and think they can cure people, but they forget the secret ingredient, which is faith. It is not the apostles who are doing the work. It is God working through them. Could it be that they had forgotten this fact and fell into presumption? How often do we have a great time at prayer only to walk out the door and return to our own self-centeredness? We have no power in aside from Christ. So put your faith into action. Make sure your actions are done with Christ and through Christ. Let us move forward to the time when Peter looked back on all these occurrences and realized how patient our Lord had been with him. Peter also saw Christ's merciful love to all people. So do we find daily nourishment in seeing how patient and merciful our Lord is to us? Do we often lose our cool and get anxious simply because we do not know how to deal with others, other, other people's faults or with people who clash with us? Is it tough for us when people do not see the obvious? Are we short-tempered with others not dealing well with their shortcomings and failures? Well, turn to Christ, look at Him, see His simple smile and recall how long He waited for you to look Him in the eyes and change your ways. And so as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us recognize that Jesus, who always stretches out his hand to us, but often we used our hands for our own endeavors instead of God's hands. And so let us pray for the grace that we may recognize his presence and take his hand now that he may lead us where he wants us to go. Let us move into prayer, looking back at the road that we have traveled thus far, and be grateful for all the blessings and thank God at this Eucharist. And let us pray that we will continue to put our trust in Him, following in His ways, abiding in His presence. We pray for this grace during this Mass. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and the glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer you, O Lord, by the intercession of Saint Dominic, and through the great power of this sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace, those who champion the faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right, right and just. just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for in the marvelous confession of your saints you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that we have others worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 
As we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray that may abide in God's presence as we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus who is always present with us and invites us to put our complete faith and trust in Him. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. May your church, O Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of St. Dominic, and may your church, having flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his intercession. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We pray the prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful Father, Father source, source of healing, cast the light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication and fortitude, that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day. Same to you, Father.